there's a small possibility we might get rained on. 20 minutes left on the bike here. I'm over here like, let's go stretch. No. Oh, not worth it. Get up and run. Good could course. Not, I could not run her if I tried. <laughs> Still picked up the pace though. You did. PB'd by like six minutes on a 10 miles, which is kind of great. All right, so we've got a nice earth. So we've got a nice early morning swim session. Uh, hopefully we can get through this at a good pace. It's been a little weird over the last couple of weeks. Just the motivation for swimming just really hasn't been there. Um, and it's shown a lot in just the times for the hundreds, two hundreds, all of it. Just been a lot less than what I know it could be. I think we did pretty okay. We've got a full 3,000 yards done. Like you, I was like, was this a joke? <laughs> you were like right there. You didn't even know it was me, did you? No, I didn't. I didn't know who. I didn't know who it was. Wow. We're in our bike ride and just randomly run into Caleb. I know. You just ride on my bumper. Didn't even know. All right, now definitely need some lunch. I'm starving. Burned like 3,300 calories on that uh, on that ride. So our goal today was to do a half marathon. Unfortunately, my knee and hip doesn't agree with me. So we got to nine miles. Uh, it's better than nothing, honestly, but we're too close to race day for me to push and get taken out for six weeks. So we're gonna take a break, come back next Sunday, try for, try for that half marathon again. But we're gonna get this. So we had to quit our bike ride just before we hit Sugarloaf. We ran into some technicals on uh, Kelly's bike, but good thing is we were pretty close to our favorite bike shop. So we're gonna go see if they can help us out and then we gotta head back. Great. Kelly's not very happy right now. No, I'm not. 